So I'm still sitting on the floor. This is the wallpaper that I was talking about. And when we first moved in, I thought that this wallpaper was so cool. It's all like retro and like vintage and flowery and cool and I love it. And now it's the bane of my existence. It drives me insane. Hey guys, this is present day Mel. And I just wanted to let you know that the vlog you're about to see was filmed a year ago. Because of the nature of my condition, I was already behind in uploading my vlogs, but then there's this huge chunk of 2022 into 2023 where I could film but not edit. However, I decided to keep filming even though I wasn't able to edit and upload them because I still wanted to share my experience of life during that time with you guys. And I made some incredible improvements over 2022 into 2023 that I really wanna share with you in real time. I wanna share with you my progress of slowly working up to a few things, slowly getting there in real time and let you guys see the difference. It's just incredible to see the difference. When I'm looking at these old videos, I'm like, wow, I've improved so much. It's so good to see. I also was starting to try something different in doing weekly vlogs instead of just filming like my medical appointments or hospital visits and things like that. So vlogging more of my life with you guys and sharing more of my life. I've already posted a few of those vlogs earlier in this year. We had when it got flooded in, when I tried a new formula and when I started Cototophen. And so these vlogs follow off there and they will continue to post over the next several months and I'm really excited to share this with you guys. So enjoy. Hello. <laughs> I made it up the road. Wow. Appalachian no, 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 no. Meets my skin. <laughs> Even with my eyes still closed, I feel it. Good morning, guys. It is a really beautiful day today. It is May of 2022 and it is sunny today. We have been flooded in a lot since February. We will get a lot of rain, be flooded in for several days, have a day or two of sun where we can get out, then be flooded in for several days. And then like our road has looked like a creek bottom at some times because it's just like all rock and dirt and debris. And it has been torn apart and repaired so many times. So I am just so grateful that the sun is out because we've just recently been flooded again and we are in beautiful beautiful sunshine so we just had a whole bunch of rain and it was super cold like it is may it's not even winter yet and i was wearing so many layers in the house in australia like one of the driest countries of earth like we're usually still wearing shorts and t-shirt this time of year so that's like crazy anyway with all this rain our house has got super super moldy so in the front of our house, one of the gutters there, we live in a really old house and it's very literally falling apart. And one of the gutters in the front is just, it's not, it can't really be called a gutter. It's so not a gutter anymore. And all the water falls onto the front of the house. And then behind that wall, there's wallpaper. And then next to that is the bathroom. And the bathroom has one little window and that's the only ventilation it has and that room has no ventilation and it's got wallpaper next to a bathroom so that whole front of the wallpaper is all covered in mold we don't know how to clean it because it's wallpaper and we think the mold is probably behind the wallpaper and Simeon I was like to Simeon I would hate to see what happens if we look behind the mold, wallpaper and he was like no you'd probably want to run we keep all our stuff in there that's kind of like quarantining so it's kind of like a mud room for us so when we come home or when we get deliveries we get undressed in that room, our dirty clothes go in that room if they're gonna be worn again. Our delivery parcels go in that room to quarantine. Like my feed bag that I take out goes in that room. And everything in that room was just covered in like this white dusty mold that was growing on everything. And so my feed bag inside and out is totally covered in mold and it's like growing mold. The ceiling was like growing mold that was like black and also like white and fluffy like cotton wool and it was like stringy like so it was sporing and 
the bathroom is covered in mold like everything's moldy and then all of our door frames and windows and walls like random walls in the kitchen everything is just moldy so lately i've been getting like an increase in my pressure headaches and i've talked in multiple videos about my pressure headaches and we're not exactly sure what causes them but generally storms and rain do cause an increase in pressure headaches so i did think it was the barometric pressure changes but i was like they're even worse than usual and i haven't been sleeping well um so i actually listened to a video this morning about how mold like can cause pressure headaches can cause dizziness make you feel off balance and cause a lot of congestion and like spitting up mucus and stuff and you guys know if you've seen my past videos they're all things that i struggle with a lot and all like some of the top things that impact my quality of life second to my neck and my stomach and so yeah so today that it's sunny mum is gonna come over and her and Simeon are gonna like attack that front room we're doing multiple loads of washing today I'll help as much as I can which will be like pretty much nothing but I'll do what I can and do multiple loads of washing while the sun's off to try and clean all the like the clothes and the linens that were in that front room to try and make sure nothing's moldy and I think we're gonna have to throw away some stuff that is moldy because it's just not worth it having it in the house and see if that helps me to get more sleep and helps decrease my pressure headaches because when they're really bad I cannot lay down because when I lay down the pressure just gets so high that it feels like my brain is going to explode and I also get super dizzy and nauseous so then I sit up to relieve the pressure headaches but then of course sitting up puts so much pressure on my spine that I have to lay down to relieve that and it's just like this ongoing relieving the two different things while the other thing gets worse and it's just it's really unpleasant way to live really less than ideal so hopefully today we can really kick that in the butt i just try not to think about how much mold is in places that we can't see like our ceiling has a lot of water damage our roof got replaced while we've been here and yeah as i said it's a really old house it's literally falling apart we've been here four years and the entire time we've been here we've been on the market looking for new rentals but the rental market in Australia is really bad at the moment and I have really specific requirements so the reason why we actually live rurally long story short is because I have really intense sensory issues so living in the suburb or the city it involves quite a lot of suffering and quite a lot of pain for me because I'm just overly sensory stimulated all the time and yeah it's quite painful um, and less than ideal for me so that's why we live rurally but living rurally I might know living rurally means that your house is usually an old house that's falling apart that's very moldy and that has a lot of carpet too and the carpets are old and gross and moldy and I don't even want to think about what else so this is actually one of the best houses we could find that was the least amount of mold we could see so hopefully we'll find somewhere else soon my mum recently came over for mother's day and she brought my niece up and mother's day is generally a hard day for those of us in the chronic illness community for so many different people for so many different reasons so my heart goes out to you if mother's day is really hard and i just want to send love to you and I want you to know that you're not alone. Generally, I stay off social media on Mother's Day. My mum also brought my niece up to visit. Well, my nephew was um, in the works of being born. He was born. He was born soon after. Good job. It's all crazy around here. Oh no, you're stuck in this thing. So the really awesome thing about spending this time with my niece is that I can really see my progress. Like I am standing up with her waving a stick around and if you would have shown that to the Mel a year before it just it would have given me so much comfort and encouragement and hope because I was in such a dark place the year before that and all the years before that too but like chronic illness has an ebb and flow it fluctuates and it's not linear 
but this improvement that I made was really good for several years I think for the first four years I was really chronically ill for the first few years that I was really chronically ill and uh, bed bound I could barely stand up for 30 seconds or often even 10 seconds or at all and then when Simina and I got married I was kind of around the 30 seconds to one minute uh, time frame and that was kind of my max and then at the time this was filmed I think I'd gotten up to about two minutes and now I'm getting close to five minutes which is really 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 exciting it's just really exciting to improve in those ways so this was such a precious moment that I got to interact with my niece and yeah, just have that improvement. Oh, I'm stronger than this one. Oh, there we go. Oh, he's so cuddly. <laughs> Do you want to come and tell me all about your brother? Is this your brother? Is this the baby? It's so She's cuddly! Like the one of the amazing things about this moment that I had with my nephew when I met him for the first time, it was probably a couple of months after he was born. I really saw the difference between my health when he was born and when my niece was born. When my niece was born, I had to be on a, a reclining lounge chair with supports either side of me and fully supporting my neck and my back. I had to have someone completely put her in my lap. I couldn't meet them halfway and hold her like I did with my nephew just then. And yeah, I had to have somebody completely put her out there. I often needed pillows under my arms to be able to hold her properly. I remember just thinking it was really, really, really heavy. It was really uncomfortable. If I was wearing my neck brace, I couldn't really see down. And there's times now when I can have my neck brace off when I'm, when I'm holding my niece and nephew, which is really nice. And so I really saw that improvement there. Like you heard me saying, wow, I've grown in so much strength since my niece was born. So that was just a really nice moment for me. But then again, now a year later, looking back on that footage, I'm like, wow, I have improved even so much more since then. Like at that point, I still had to be neck brace on, leaning back on something, kind of being a bit reclined. And I was less confident in my own strength so that's really amazing to see that improvement yes it was really nice to spend that time with my niece and it kind of took the edge off mother's day a bit but yeah i'm so excited to see my mom today and i'll might include some clips of her so i just want to thank you guys for watching and i will check in with you to see if cleaning up the mold helps my headaches i don't even like calling them headaches because they're just so much more than a headache like i wish i just had a headache and see if it helps. I'll let you guys know to see if that helps you. And I would show you the house, but I'm kind of embarrassed to show you how gross my house is. So, yeah. So I thought I'd do a little before and after of this bathroom ceiling. Simeon is constantly cleaning this and it just, he just cleaned it recently. So it needs to be clean again. But yeah, I thought I'd do a little before and after. And this happens just from taking a shower because we've got this window for ventilation, but that's it. So there's no exhaust fan or anything. And we actually have an ensuite, but it doesn't have any ventilation at all. Just the door into our bathroom. There's no windows, there's no exhaust fan, there's no nothing. So we just don't use it. We actually share this bathroom is also our laundry and yeah we recently got the shower change <sighs> gotta sit down it used to be wooden and it was very very moldy so i'm really glad that we have that a new one but it's already moldy sometimes i just feel like this house <laughs> it's not really built to functionally live in it's really difficult to keep clean and like healthy to live in i don't want to complain but i also want to show you guys like what my life is like and also i don't know if it helps you guys but just from health to life i constantly feel like we are just trying to fix something always multiple things we're just always trying to like catch up and i bet that you guys feel like that too because life is kind of like that that it's never just like calm it's always like trying to fix something i don't know i just don't want to complain but i want to show real life like yeah so my arms aren't very long by the way it is the next day and this headache is unreal i have two different types of headaches at the moment one seems to be relieved by laying down but the other, the pressure headache, the brutal, vicious, infamous pressure headache, builds when I'm laying down. So it's just so incredibly frustrating to like 
you do one thing and it helps one thing get better but it makes the other thing worse and that's just like sums up every little tiny detail of life with chronic illness but what I am really grateful for is that my recovery from doing things like yesterday having my mum over sitting on the deck eating lunch with her just little things like that <sighs> my recovery is looking so much better and um there was a time in my life when I couldn't do that at all there was a time in my life where that was this huge task and took months to recover from so I'm so grateful that I'm definitely not there and I'll check in with you guys later a headache that's relieved by laying down I'm not sure what causes it it's a headache that I seem to get like less intensity and as less frequently as my pressure headaches but I assume it's probably either related to POTS or related to my neck seeing that it is seems to be postural. Hey guys, it's the next day and I'm feeling really rough. It's been really rough, but I decided to come on and just be in front of the camera quickly to show you guys that usually when you see us, you see us at our best. That doesn't always mean we feel good or that we're not in pain. It often means that we're just functioning enough to push through whatever it is we're experiencing. Looks can be deceiving. <laughs> we might always not always feel good if we look good. And it can just be really, really rough to try and do anything in life. And it takes a lot to recover from it. It can just be really brutal. So I just wanted to be real about that and to share that with you. Um, but moving on, I have had enough energy today to start opening some of the packages my mum bought with her. So the first one is my new Mickey extension. This is my old one. It just broke down the middle. So usually when I've finished my formula, I flush it through to clean it and then I like put it kind of like this in the draining rack to dry. But one day I put it in and it just like bent really sharply. So it made like this sharp edge here. And I was still kind of using it but it was leaking. Finally it just like snapped in half. So this is the one that goes to my J tube. And this is the one that I ran my formula through. So I was using this one which this is my drainage tube. And it goes to my stomach. So I just clip this onto my Mickey button whenever I need to drain my stomach which honestly is rare because I try to drain as little as possible and I mostly only drain if I am in the hospital or if I'm having an infection or something otherwise or if I'm really especially sick or vomiting or whatever otherwise I try not to drain in everyday life I was using this and it's quite a bit bigger than this so it was kind of a bit awkward to maneuver it on my stomach and stuff and it gave me the old dangler tube vibes but anyway so I'm really excited that my new Mickey button has come so we'll open that if you guys are enjoying this video could you please click the thumbs up button down below this tells me that you liked it but also it helps this video get to more people and I would really appreciate that also if you want to consider subscribing that would mean so much to me at the moment I'm trying to hit 500 subscribers that's my goal for the year and I would really love and appreciate your help with that is this a really bizarre angle I'm not sure but um It's got the purple and fit connector instead of these. Both of these I find pretty hard on my joints. These are really hard to like push in and to pull out. And this one, like the vacuum gets stuck and they're really hard to twist in and twist out. And I usually can't do it myself. In my hospital vlogs, you would have seen that I had to get the nurse to do it every time I needed to use my tube. This one looks like quite a bit longer too than this one. Yeah, it's like double the size. So that's cool. Noise. Nothing better than a fresh, fresh new tube. This is the old one. This is a new one. Look at that fresh fresh and new and clean and beautiful it's 
so long though. Look at how long this is. Like, that goes past my waist. Like, that's crazy. That's crazy long, but that's cool. I'm really glad to have it. I have some more parcels to unbox that I'll unbox with you tomorrow. I just remembered that I also was going to give you guys an update on my pressure headaches. So, my mom came and helped clean on the Monday, and around that time, too, I dosed down on my low dose naltrexone. And then on the Thursday or Friday was when I started to have an improvement, like a drastic improvement in my pressure headaches. And then in the last week, I have had quite a big improvement in my pressure headaches and I've still kept that lower dose of naltrexone. So I don't actually know at this point whether it was the mold, whether it was naltrexone, whether it was a combination, but soon before mold builds up again, I'm going to increase our naltrexone again and see what happens. But yeah, I do think the mold did play a big part in it because I was also quite sinusy and Simeon and I both had woken up with sore throats and things like that. And the other thing I wanted to mention is that you know how I said I had two different types of headaches and one was getting worse when I was sitting up and one was getting worse when I was laying down. Well, the one getting worse when I was laying down was a pressure headache. So once that started to ease, I noticed that... So I noticed what I think was causing the increase in headaches when I'm sitting up. And that's that the padding of my neck brace is too thin. So this really wears out quite a lot and I'll show you in a minute. But I have had another pad behind there and then I folded up a third one and put it behind there and that helped settle down that extra pain over the next few days it settled down. So I think the fact that the plastic, especially when I'm lying in my wheelchair and the pressure is on the back of my head, the plastic was digging in and that the pads weren't thick enough to like protect my head and it was like bruising the back of my head. But I didn't really notice because my pressure headache was so bad and it's kind of like when you're in a room and not that you're ever in a room in this situation but if you're in a room with four different like stereos in each different corner and they were all playing really loud music it's difficult to tell which stereo is playing which song but if you turned off three of them obviously it's much easier to tell which stereo is playing which song and it's the same situation with symptoms. If you just heard that, that's Amaya. She wants to come in. Okay, so I'll show you this neck brace pad. It's also coming apart here. So, I don't know if you can see there, but that is just really, really thin. So this is my other one, and I've just been, like, putting it on here. It's obviously not sticky to anything, but then putting it behind, and then once it's on, putting the other one just in the top here. And so you can probably see from here, this is really really thin because it's just worn out but just to raise awareness about these things one set of these replacement pads is $70 and they wear out pretty quickly I also realized something I don't know if it was in this video or another video but I was like ah oh, this thing is really annoying me because I can't get it straight I've also noticed that I can't really get it straight and comfortable if the neck brace pads have worn down um, so that might be something to consider if you're having trouble with your neck brace sitting properly and it's not supporting you properly or it's not fitting you as well. It could be because the neck brace pads have worn down too much. And then the other thing that happens is that these wear down and so they leave gaps in the plastic here and like here you can see you can see the plastics. So that like digs into your neck and causes like bruises and cuts and stuff. So that's not great. So I just want to raise awareness about that. And I really hope that disability supports and like Medicare and things like that will recognize that for the future or future patients. So yeah, okay. It's a little bit later but the same day I wanted to share it with you because this year I have made some progress. So there are a few things that I'm starting to be able to do that I enjoy and it's really nice to actually be able to start doing things I enjoy in working on projects. So I got some Harry Potter Lego. I can't like just sit down and do the whole thing at once. 
but if I just do really little bits at a time and rest between it, I can do it. And I've been doing it on my period to distract period pain. It is rough on my joints and on my like on my finger joint neck spine, but I have been enjoying it. And yeah, like the period pain is worse than the joint pain, so I do enjoy it. And this is just a really little kit. I'll, I'll show you. Okay, so this is the front, and this is the back, and it's just like a little potions classroom, and it's just a small kit. And it's got Draco, and it's got, I think that's. Justin Finch Fletchley and Snape so I thought that was really cool and I thought it was cool to get some dungeon vibes this particular one is actually retiring this year but I'll try and link something similar because they have lots of these little like classrooms kids they're called Hogwarts moments oh no it's it's Seamus Finnegan not Justin Finch Fletchley of course, because Justin Finch Fletch is not a Gryffindor and Seamus is. But that's really cool to have Seamus because I got Dean in another kit, so it's kind of cool to have them both. Yeah, so that's really cool. Yeah, as I said, I'll try and link one below that is similar to that kit. And I'm not affiliated in any way. So the last package is from Dr. Bronner's. And this is a little bit heavy, but this is the Castile soap. And I have been using this since Simeon and I got married, which is five years. It's the baby unscented because I have delicate skin or sensitive skin and also any sort of scent. And also because sometimes scent can, can trigger my mast cells. This is really versatile and really cost effective and it's also got, it doesn't have any chemicals in it, it's all natural ingredients. I have been using all natural ingredients since I was a teenager. I'm really quite passionate about it. Yeah, I use this in our hand pumps. I dilute it. I've used it also as like uh, shampoo and also body wash. When I go into hospital, I just have a little bottle of this that I take in and I use that for hand wash, hair, body wash, everything. So it's super versatile. You can even use it in the dish for the dishes, you can use it for house cleaning, you can use it for surface spray. It's really really versatile and so therefore it's really cost effective. So I've found that this is like one of the best ways to do all natural since getting married. And I also tried a new product of theirs which is a new product to me, which is leave-in conditioner, organic leave-in conditioner. You guys don't know it because I always wear my hair up. My neck is getting really sore, that's why I'm leaning on my hand. But I actually have really naturally curly hair. I like to put leave-in conditioner in it because it gets really dry. I'm currently not affiliated with Dr. Bronner's, but I'm hoping to be in the future. Um, if I am, when this video goes up, it's linked below. And if I'm not, by the time this video is going up, then it's linked below. <laughs> also, mum did such a great job of the house. Like, it feels so much more fresh. Like, as fresh as it could be. Bye for today. <laughs> yeah, so I actually really like it and it's really like lightweight. Yeah, really lightweight. And so the one I was using beforehand is this. And I really like this one too, but this one is much heavier. So both of them are good, but this one is a lot more budget friendly than this one and so i really do like both but i was actually really impressed with this the only thing i want to say about this is that it's the lavender smell is really really strong when you first put it in but then it like mutes down pretty well and actually smells really nice and the smell lasts in your hair for a while and i really like it because it smells really nice but i know not everyone likes lavender so the other thing is this one creates a really smooth like it makes your hair really smooth and easy to brush when it's in whereas this one makes your hair sticky to brush so you have to wait until it all absorbs into your hair and then brush your hair to make it easier that's fine but I did appreciate this one because it is easier to brush my hair when it's wet with leave-in conditioner in it 
Both of these products I actually got from Nourished Life. I got my Castile soap from there too. They basically have all different brands that are natural and free of a lot of the toxic ingredients. So I like to get everything I need from the one website so that I don't have to pay shipping on it. Like, so I don't have to pay shipping for all these individual brands and so that I can just buy it all from the one place and it gets shipped to me and they also have rewards so I like that. I haven't really shared much before because I've mostly been speaking from bed and like I've been like my videos are long enough already without me babbling on but also I just didn't think you guys cared but the more I've been doing it, the more I've been finding out that you guys do care. So uh, let me know if you want me to share more. I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for being here. Um, if you're new here, please feel free to introduce yourself to me in the comments. I really do love getting to know you guys and to hear your stories. And if you're not new here, but you've never introduced yourself, please feel free to do the same. I'd love to get to know you guys a little. So yeah, with that, I'm going to say bye. And I'll see you next time. Thank you guys so much for watching that vlog. I really, really, really appreciate it. It means so much to me. Over the next several months, I'll be posting weekly vlogs from this time, just sharing my life and the, thing that, the things that go on. I really hope that you enjoy them. I hope it shares a little bit more about my experience of life during that time and brings encouragement to you. If you haven't already subscribed, please consider doing so down below. I'd really appreciate it. And please share this with your friends if you think that they could benefit from it. And I'll see you guys next week. Bye.